My name is Fiona Kenner. I'm 58 years old. I have Parkinson's since I was 46, so it's quite some time. And I'm here today at St Paul's Church Hall in Scotland at the Bay Dementia Hub to do a talk on living with Parkinson's, what life is like living with early onset Parkinson's disease. I knew something was wrong in 2012, so finger kept wriggling. You don't get any symptoms till all your dopamine's gone from your body. So you start to get symptoms and it's all way too late, it's all gone. I knew something was going on. I googled it and I thought it's MS or motor neuron. And I went to the doctors and she said, I think we'll do some tests to rule out Parkinson's. And I know there's no test for Parkinson's. So she's trying to tell me I had to wait four months to go and see a consultant. And in that four months, I knew what I had. I accepted it and I just moved on. So when I went to see this guy in Preston, he was greatly relieved because he said, what do you think you've got? I said, I can tell you exactly what I've got. So he made me walk him down a corridor. I said, yeah, you're quite right. He said, I'm so certain I'm not even going to send you for the dopamine test. By this time, most of it's gone. I started off working for Parkinson's UK. There's no early onset groups in about 300 miles radius. So I started one from Peter Lytle's group, Freshers, in Blackpool. I did previous work with Parkinson's UK. I did a self-management course in Warrington. I used to go around all the care homes, talking to all the staff, and do talks with Andy to the care homes. That was really good. We did a lot of um, stuff. They were fantastic. The great results we had were doing them. The Freshers has been running about six years. We do Zooms every Friday night for the people that don't like to, turning up to the, the meetings. And some people don't like to go out. There is a stigma with Parkinson's. We do the meetings every last Wednesday of the month at the, at the White Cross Pub, Quarry Road, at Lancaster. The last Wednesday of the month at 5 till 7pm. The food is very good at the pub. It's just a social thing. Drop in, drop out. We're just there for people if they need us. That's all it is. No agenda no minutes, just come if you want, we're there to help. We, we have just done an eight week self-management, self-help course for Parkinson's, dementia and Alzheimer's. It did really well, we had about 25 to 30 people and it lasted eight weeks, four weeks at Bear and four weeks at Lancaster. It was great, we had people coming along, like people from the Hub came and they did talks like the advocacy chap and then we had a solicitor lady who talked all about wills. We had the people coming from the Littledale Dementia Farm. They were absolutely wonderful, they brought a tortoise. It was really popular. And we have various people coming each week just to give talks on things you think about in the future, the power of attorneys, and how to help yourself. It was really popular. Andy's trying to do a lot of work for carers because carers are definitely the unsung heroes. And they get no, there's no help at all for carers, no support. And a lot of people uh, we know have got their own health problems that they didn't have before they were carers, and they certainly have now. So we're trying to raise awareness and help, help people that way. I help myself by helping other people. That's what really helps me. It takes my mind off what I've got and how I'm going to die. It helps me live by helping other people. And I've done a lot of that. <laughs>